everyone. Hi Bonkers. Welcome back to Storytime. The story today is called The Very Lazy Ladybird. Now I know you're not lazy Bonkers because you like to climb trees, swing from tree to tree, finding bananas and playing with your friends, playing the drums. You love doing music. Well this ladybird was nothing like you. She liked to sleep all day long and not move. This book's written by Isabel Finn and the pictures are by Jack Tickle. Let's see if the ladybird stays lazy for very long. This is the story of the very lazy ladybird and like I told you, she liked to sleep all day long and all night. Oh, goodness me. And because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybird didn't know how to fly. Now ladybirds have wings and I have seen them flying around the garden. You don't see them very often, so if you look very carefully, you might find one. One day, the lazy ladybird wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do? She didn't know how to fly. Then the lazy ladybird had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, what do you think she did? She was very clever. She hopped into his pouch. But the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back. But the tiger liked to roar. Roar. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when a monkey swung by, looks just like you bonkers, she hopped onto his head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped into his ear. But the bear liked to scratch. Oh, I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. He'll never sit still. So when a turtle plodded by, she hopped onto her shell. There she is. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. Oh, I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too hot. So when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, said the lazy ladybird, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant, what do you think is going to happen, decided to sneeze. Ha, 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 choo! And the poor old lazy ladybird, that was a big sneeze, had to fly at last. So she flew straight off the trunk and had to fly into the air. And there's her beautiful wings going so fast. Find a flower to land on. So that's the story of the very lazy ladybird who had to learn to fly after all. I hope you enjoyed listening to that story.